Hey, how's it going, Andrew? Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Um, this is going to give you a real understanding of where your business is online and where we can get it. All right, we're going to show you where you are versus your competitors. How much traffic do you get versus them, and what we can do to get you to dominate your local market? Okay, so as you can see, we're on my website. Uh, my company is called Amp Local. We do internet marketing, SEO marketing as well. All right, so I just want to jump straight into the uh, video um, so pretty much what I'm going to be going over is search engine optimization okay how do we get your business found on the top of Google searches okay because 82 percent of the population when they need a product or service they're going to use Google okay it's the most pow pow powerful and popular way to get information from the internet all right so uh, to find Ace Roofing Systems in Los Angeles, someone naturally would have to type in, you know, roofing Los Angeles or roofing companies in Los Angeles or roofing contractors Los Angeles, okay? Now, Google is very smart. Um, if you're actually in Los Angeles looking for uh, a roofing contractor, you know, you may just type in roofing contractor. If you needed your carpets clean, you will type in carpet cleaning, okay? If you need a limousine, you will type in limo LA, something like that, okay? So that's how people find products and services, all right? So someone not knowing you don't know your name's Ace Roofing, so they're not going to type in Ace Roofing Systems, right? So um, the first big one is Roofing Los Angeles, okay? For this keyword, um, so real quick, you know, as you may already know, on the first, when you search something on Google, this is your Google Ads here, and this is your map listings, all right? And this is your organic listings, okay? So let me just go ahead and show you um, what the traffic looks like when you're ranked on the top of those searches, okay? So when you're ranked number one, you get um, about 35% of all of the clicks, okay? So if you're number one um, organically and in the maps, that could be 70% of the total clicks for the whole page, okay? And then when you're ranked number two, it goes down about 17% and so on and so forth. Um, as you can see, number 10 is about 3%, okay? And if you're on page 2, you might as well be on page 20, okay? Only 4% of people actually click past the first page. So you have to get to page 1 if your business is going to drive sales, increase sales, increase leads, increase clicks to your website, okay? So that's what we were trying to do here for you. So where are you at right now? I found you for roofing, okay? Um... Let's see, let me go here, right here. So for roofing, you're actually on, let me go to it, I believe it's page 8. Yep, I didn't have it pulled up. So you're right here, Ace Roofing Systems, okay? You're page 8, okay? So that's rank number 71, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you're rank number 75, okay? Really, really going to be hard for somebody to find you on that keyword, okay? Another top keyword, roofing companies, Los Angeles, okay? Found you right here, page 10, okay? Ranked number 96, okay? So let me turn this on so you can see the numbers. Um, okay, so there you are, ranked number 96, all right? And then another hot keyword, roofing contractors in Los Angeles. This is one of your internal pages, rank number 111, okay? I didn't find you until this rank, so you're really far back, page 12 on this one, okay? So just to show you what the keywords I'm talking about, um, so roofing gets searched 880 times per month in LA, okay? Um, other ones like roofing contractor, 390. All right, and roofing companies, 260. So those three words alone um, pull roughly uh, 1,500 or so searches a month, just those three words alone. Imagine if you were on page one, at the top of page one, and whenever someone searched those three of the most popular terms, they see your business. How much business do you think you're going to get? Okay, and uh, in this keyword planner here, it shows you how many times um, someone searches something related to roofing services in Los Angeles. So last year for the month of, let's go ahead and go to May, um, 41,000 times, okay, someone was looking for some, some type of roofing service, okay. So there's many, many keywords. These three are very the, are the three hottest, most popular ones um, that are relevant to you and your, your company, okay. 
So it's very important that you understand this because we could pull so much business for you and increase your business and really secure the future um, of your business. So this shows you exactly how much traffic you get to your website right now. Okay, so you're getting about four unique visitors per month. Okay, about four times someone is, is finding you on, on Google. Okay, so that's pretty, pretty low. Um, so that shows you April 2016. May and March you had four. It looks like February you had five. You had a little spike right after um, around December 19 or so. All right, but now it's consistently going low. So what we want to do is obviously consistently have that high, so you have more leads, you know, to increase uh, revenue. That's that's what we want to do. Okay, let me show you one of the, your top competitors in LA. This is um, J and J Roofing. Okay, they're actually ranked. Let's see. I go back to the first page. Oh, this thing pops up. Okay, so let me go back to the first page and show you where J and J and J Roofing is number one in the maps. Okay, and they're number two organically. All right, and they're pulling four hundred and five leads per month for well 405 people going to the website okay um actually about 98 there's actually about 95 percent of people um click off the website and won't contact you all right so that's why it's very important we want to get you as much traffic as possible now this number varies from time to time with business business um uh, that's why there's also called something called retargeting so whenever someone visits your website you pretty much follow their IP address and run an ad wherever they go and it'll bring them back to your website. But we can get into that later. But I just want to show you the amount of traffic potentially we can bring to you. We could literally multiply whatever you're doing right now, multiply times a hundred. Okay, that's a that's essentially what we can do. Now that might be scary as far as oh my gosh, what I'm gonna do, I need to hire more people. Um, but definitely getting you to page one is gonna increase the business. Okay, and now of course our goal is to get you in the top three. And that's what we want to do. Okay, we want to beat your competitors. You know, why should they? Why should consumers in LA looking for a roofer go to someone else? Why? Why can't they go to you? All right. Um, so that's what I want to try to get you to understand here. So how do we do it? How do we do it, Andrew? Let me show you. So there's there's 200 elements to Google's algorithm. Okay, that's what they use. It's a very smart, intelligent uh, equation and robots that crawl the internet. Um, they use this algorithm, okay? But I'm not gonna talk about all of them. I'm gonna talk about four of the very, very most important ones, okay? The very first one I wanna talk to you about is authoritative content. So when we go to your website, do you have authoritative content? Meaning, do you have about 1,000 to 2,000 words on the homepage with information that's relevant to your services in your business and in your the area that you service in Los Angeles? All right, so, Looking at your website, you have, you know, just a very couple short sentences here. Um, and this is pretty much it for your home page, okay? Um, we definitely want to add a lot more content to, to the home page. All right, this is going to give you the edge and show Google that you are relevant, providing a, a lot of information for a new visitor on your website, okay? This thing is very smart, all right? So you can see that you don't have that inf much information on the page. Um, so let me show you what authoritative content kind of looks like. So I typed in elephant on Google. Look what's not ranked number one, Wikipedia. I click on it. This is endless amounts of information on elephants, their habitat, their evolution, everything. All right, this is probably 50,000 plus words, okay? I just want to kind of show you what authoritative content looks like, okay? We want to have at least 1,000 words of relevant information on the homepage, all right? Now, same thing on the website, since we're talking about changing up the website um, the second most important thing is being mobile friendly all right 65 to 80 percent of people when they need a product or service are actually going to use their iPhone or Android all right their mobile device so you got to look great right on the phone and Google takes it very serious okay so your website is outdated it's not mobile friendly so along with the authoritative content um, doing a full web redesign, um, to get it for the next generation mobile friendly um, is something that you should take really serious in it and consider doing in here in the very near future um, for your business okay 
So, cause this is, this leaves a bad first impression whenever someone gets on your website too. I mean, they can't read anything, you know, knowing 70% of people that actually get to your website, they're probably going to be on their phone. And if they can't read anything, they're just going to bounce off the page and go to one of your competitors. All right. So if you think about it like that, yeah, it's, it's something that you want to consider doing. Um, because people today, I mean, uh, probably aren't even going to look at your website from a desktop most likely. All right. So thirdly, um, backlinks, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to be talking about power listings. Um, power listing, we also call these business listings, um, or citations. Okay. This is how we get our business listed across the internet. Some examples are of course, Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yelp, yellow pages and white pages. Okay. Um, these are the top 50 in the country. Okay. When we, when you do these, you have to have your business name, address and phone number identical. Cause if not, Google is going to slap you down and, and definitely give you lower rankings. Okay. So it looks like for, you have quite a few, you have 26% error rate. Okay. So that means it's like Foursquare, You're not listed here. Credibility.com. Yeah. There's a different name here. Um, it might've been, uh, another company that used to be at that address. Um, you're missing these listings. It looks like there's a different address for these. So see, there's about a quarter of all the list of these top 50 are, are inaccurate. Now, these are the top 50 in the country. There's thousands and we want to, there's literally thousands. Um, and we want to get you listed in, in the top local citations for LA. And this is going to be directly responsible for getting you ranked in the maps. Okay. That's how we're going to get you ranked on the maps and in, in the top three here. So we got to get these uh, citations fixed and done and we got to add more and more per month and all the work that we do, um, we actually space it out uh, over the months. Uh, so Google doesn't think any's going, anything's going on. All right. It's a very sensitive process. Next, I'm going to talk to you about backlinks. All right. So say you have a client <clears throat> thoroughly impressed with the roof. Okay. Which I'm sure happens all the time. Say they write a blog or have a web page. Um, what's going to happen is they're actually going to post an article about your business on that website or blog and mention you. Okay. So anyone reading an article can click the link, go to your webpage, but that's great because now you have a new prospect. But most importantly, Google takes that as a vote. Okay. Google is a popularity contest. Um, the more votes you have, it's like running for president. The more votes you have, the more possibility you're going to win. All right. That's exactly what Google is. So these are your votes. All right. So let me show you what all these numbers are. Um, so you have, so let me talk about these referencing, referring domains and these external backlinks. So this is saying these, there are six websites out there right now that's mentioning your business 56 times. Okay. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Um, but here's where we're running into the problem, the trust flow. Okay. So this is the quality of these domains and this number goes up to a hundred. Okay. So 16, let me show you what I mean. So this is the trust flow uh, chart. So you're meeting, you're about at medium quality right now, right here. This is where you're at. Um, this is where your competitors are like J and J. That's why he's on the front page, rank number two organically. They're all up over here on 20. Okay. So what's great about doing business with us, Andrew, is that I actually have unlimited amounts of um, linkable backlinks domains to link your business to that are very high quality all right and all of our backlinks are actually above 25 so they're very very powerful backlinks that gives you very very uh, high quality uh, votes for Google okay so this number of 16 is going to go up over 25 and 30 eventually okay and these these numbers here you want these to grow exponentially and we will grow those all right so that is backlinks. All right. So, um, Andrew, that's pretty much it for my analysis. I really hope this made sense for you and your company. I hope it made sense and you could see what I'm the, what I'm trying to show you, um, and the potential for you and your business. Okay. So, um, again, you know, the companies, I'm sure it's been great. It's been successful, but there's huge potential for improvement. And then I would love to bring my services and my expertise to the table for, ace roofing systems and partner with you and just watch your business grow and prosper in the future so um you have my contact information please reach out to me if this made sense for you and company i would love to work with you again thanks for taking the time to watch the video um here's my contact page from the website uh, you can email me call me um 
and uh, I'll be looking forward to your call. Thanks again, Andrew. Have a great day.